Sean. Yo, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Sean, pull what up? Yeah, who, who I'm talking to? This, this cipher sound. This I'm cipher sounds. Like cipher sounds. Yeah. Rosenberg and K Fox. What up? Good morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's happening? Top of the morning. Top of the morning. Sean, what's the deal, man? Why, why are you going at my man Ross and this black bar mitzvah tape that I'm also featured on? Why, why are you going at the tape? <laughs> Yo, listen, blood. Homeboy is a straight cornball, you understand? And, and I've been I've been saying that for a minute now. And, and one thing about Sean Poe, Sean Poe is consistent, man. You dig? I ain't never changed, man. When I first went to the pen, I did the I did the double XL, Death Before Design the Cover, and I was in your man Diddy Diddy the Creep Out. And you know, I always speak my mind. You know, I just, I just find it curious. That when Sean Poe, you know, do his Judaism thing and, and I'm on my Israelite thing, you know, dudes, you know, was, was taking shots and, and they was trying to poke fun at that. And now, you know, fat boys coming out with the black bar mitzvah. You dig? So, so I have a lot of issues with him. But, but my, my, my most important issue is that to me, old boys like Donnie Brasco, right? Dudes always say, well, well, yo, you know, he, he make good music. It, it's not about that. It's about the integrity. Like like blood. I have no problems with correctional officers. One love to all the correctional officers on Rikers Island listening right now that, that took care of me and always treated me with the utmost respect. But but if any of them COs would try to act like they was thugs or they was gangsters, I had no love for them because that's not what they do. They they civilians. So so imagine that Brasco or Sammy the Bull coming out with an album talking about how they, how gangster they are after they done did what they did. You dig? So, so, so my thing is, if you a cop, you got to stay a cop. If he was LL Cool J and rapping about how much he loved the ladies and, and how much you understand, he, you know, there's a million things he could rap about. He could be a backpack rapper. You understand? Talk about consciousness. All, 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 the, all the lies that he done in prison and all the, the, the destruction that he done seen, he could have been a positive rapper or something. But for him to come out and be talking all this dope boy, Bugatti, billion dollar talk, like, come on, blood. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why Shook Knight existed. You know, I feel like Shook Knight. I'm so disgusted with all these creeps. And that's why he was what he was. That's why they was scared of him. And that's why he did the things that he did, because these dudes are pathetic, man. All right, Sean. So what's the situation with you and Diddy? I thought you guys made up. He flew to Paris. You guys were watching a fashion show together. Then the next thing you know, yeah, you put out a disc yeah, record. He, because, you know, he's the ultimate creep, so, you know, creeps stick together. So that's why that's why those two roll hard, you understand? Because he's the ultimate creep. I mean, listen, man, I'm, I'm a gentleman. You really, you really dig? I, I try to try to have, you know, honor with everything that I do. So it's, it's not about Sean being mad and, and Sean hating. And, and, and proof of that is the fact that I, I, I gave this creep the opportunity to, 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 to redeem himself and to correct the mistake that he knows that he, he made, that he, he's expressed to me over and over again. But he's just, he's a creep. So but did he, he, did he, he, he... Listen, he pretends to be sorry. He pretends to be sorry. Maybe he even wants to be sorry. But he's so much of a creep. He just can't find that, that, that part of himself. You know, like, like when he say God is great, I think he's talking about himself. He, he thinks he's God. He has no accountability. And, and you know, my, my man Wolf... Is testament to that, man. Wolf, if it wasn't for Wolf, that 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 kid would be he would be celebrating his anniversary of death. Mm. You who who is Wolf? Wolf? Wolf was his security. Wolf, Wolf he got kept, killed. Wolf kept Diddy alive. You understand? And 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 if you looked at the way he treats Wolf's mother and he, the way he treats Wolf's children, ain't none of them got no trust funds. Ain't none of them going off to college. You understand? That's how you can tell who he is. Mm. Now Wolf ain't here. Wolf ain't, you know, Wolf can't do nothing for him. Wolf can't keep sugar off his back. So, you know, hey, you know. But now, and, and okay, so y'all you, so you made, made up, and what is it that he did? It, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't no makeup. It was an opportunity, like I said. I, I, you know, I, I reformed. You understand? I rehabilitated myself, man. Because, cause, you know, if I was the old son, a lot of these dudes wouldn't be alive right now. Because my arm is long. I, I could touch them from, from Europe. You understand? But, you know, I, I retired. So so I see things different. You understand? So so for me, when, when, when he reached out to me and he apologized, it was about, you know what? What can we do for young African Americans and young Latin Americans? How can we inspire them? 
You understand? How could I teach them something from, from the terrible, you know, uh, 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 example that I set for them by being a gangbanger, by, by being a gangster? You know, what could I do to fix that? I'm still trying to fix that right now. There's nights that I don't sleep because I know the destruction I caused in my own community. So I was looking at the opportunity of reconciling with old boys right. to go ahead and do something with the babies. That's what that was about. That wasn't personal. And then, it, did, like, Yo, and then it didn't yeah, work and, out. And he, didn't, he didn't keep his word for that. He not about that. He ain't about that. He not about helping nobody but him. It's all about him. You understand? He could go to San Tropez. He could go to St. Bart's. And he could live, you understand, a good life. But all them kids that's dying in the south side of Chicago, all them kids that's catching bodies in New York and in Brooklyn, he don't care nothing about them. Where Where are you at? I'm in Paris right now. That's where you live? You know, I'll be, I'll be in and out. You know, Europe, you know, I, you know I'll, be, I'll be trying to float around, trying to make it happen. And, and that's another reason why these guys discuss me. You understand? Because, you know, Sean Poe is, is about that, like a trillion percent. And I'm paying the penalty for living such a real life. So I could say who has the license to talk about that life and who don't. You understand? Can't nobody tell me. And I can't express my well, opinion. Well, okay, so, oh, but, Sean. Because, listen, 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 B, I'm paying for, for something I did 13 years ago. Still, mm. I'm banned, from, I'm banned from, from, from Canada. I'm banned from the UK. I'm banned from Australia and America. Mm. You understand? Paris so it is. Food, you understand? <laughs> when these, now, Paris, Paris is a little sophisticated. They got a lot of Africans there, so they let me in. But, 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 you so, but are you mad at you mad at Rick Ross because of his gangster no, raps or because he's trying the Jewish listen, thing? You, you, you're using the wrong word. It's, 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 not a, it's not mad. It's disgusted. Like, you disgusted. know, should be outraged that, that, that he's getting the pass that he's getting. He's like Ice T in New Jack City. Like, come on, man. Like, I don't understand how people go for that. You think? So, it's like, you know, I'm allowed to express my opinion. I know what, when I grew up, if, if you was a rat, if you was a coward, if you was a creep, you stayed in your lane. And we always made sure that you understood who you was. The way these dudes is beating their chest and they jumping around and they acting like gorillas, you know, I feel it's incumbent upon me to, um, to, 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 to let them know. Hold on a second. I feel, it, I feel it's incumbent upon me to, to let them know, to let the people know what this is because but, kids is dying like it's dudes in south side of chicago that's dying hundreds of bodies a week but and, I and, and he's, Hold celebra on, he's celebrating that culture all right we'll move all but, right, all but right. Sean. He, he's celebrating he's celebrating that culture and he's romanticizing that culture and it's real penalties being paid so he's celebrating creating this soundtrack to, to, to the dope boy life but he ain't never did that he was locking dope boys up so that's what i'm disgusted about you understand so black bar mitzvah was just basically just another you know just another you know example of of, of his pathetic behavior he sound like me did he told me that he took my old style you understand so when when these young kids that ain't never listen to rap listen to shine and they they saying Sean sound like oh boy yo when Sean was selling a million records Cypher Sounds you remember when Bad Boys came out you and Flex broke that where was Rick Ross where was Robert Robert was was was, was guarding somebody's jail cell in Miami ha ha sound like him you understand I'm the original dope boy like you listen to Sean album that's all I was talking about cause that's what I did so Sean what's so, going so, on with the music now though yeah, you got the Gangland album out, and we're going to talk about that. You know, I, I admit, I admit Rosenberg, I admit Cypher, that when I first came out, out the prison, the records, my voice sounded terrible. It sounded weird. What I happened? Admit, why yeah, did okay, Why okay, did okay, you what, sound what different? What, yeah, what, 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 what happened? Yeah, this, is, this is another thing that I'm trying to bring across. This is what happens when you go to prison for 10 years, Rosenberg. Right? This is a real life. This is how it really goes. This is not one year or six months. You understand? And, and, and by the way, T.I. still ain't had a hit yet. You understand? He been, wow, he how did T.I. get into Because he's saying the jail I'm thing. Just saying, okay. I'm just saying, the jail thing is a serious thing. It changes so imagine, it. Ten, imagine 10 years. So for 10 years, the way I'm talking to you now, I would never talk like this in prison. 
right? Because it's rats all over. It's people reading your lips all over, right? So it's the point of prison is to get out of prison. So there's a lot of things I had to do in prison that I don't care to speak about and I'm not proud of. But I did that in a very humble and quiet way where nobody would know and I would never get in trouble because I always contained myself, always kept my composure. So when I was in prison, I wasn't in my cell rapping in my mirror. I was in my cell sharpening them ox. I was in my cell getting them ratchets ready for war. I ain't care nothing about no rappers. Rap? What's that? I don't know nothing about that. So when I came out, you understand? It wasn't about being no rapper. It was about being free. You know, one love to Chi Ali, you know, who just came out, you understand? And, and my son. But, you know, when I came out of the prison, I was just, you know, I was adjusting emotionally and mentally to being free. I was an animal. I was in the jungle for 10 years, you did? So mm. I, I wasn't exercising my vocal cords. I wasn't trying to learn how to have swagger and have this and have that. I was about that life for 10 years. So when I came out and I went to the studio, I ain't even realized that I lost my voice. I sound, I sound dead. If you listen to that Gangland album right now, I don't care how you feel. You, you, you feel Sean Poe. You, you can feel the energy, the, the voice is clear, everything is back. You might not, you might not like it. All the subjective, but it don't sound like how terrible my voice sound when I first came out. All right, well, that listen, I'm, me, I'm, that wasn't, that wasn't, but listen, that wasn't me trying to sound terrible. Like that's how clueless these kids are. You understand? Because they, they, they got these fantasy dudes that sell a hundred kilos, that kill, you know, a million people, and they walk off into the sunset. They don't understand that when you squeeze your ratchet. You know, your co-defendant might tell on you, and you might sit in prison for ten years. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna download Gangland and listen to it and see where uh, see where it sounds like you're at. But I will say I disagree with the premise on what you say about Ross because I, I believe that even if you look back throughout our history in hip hop, there have been a lot of great groups who made music that didn't necessarily portray every part of their lifestyle. Like you nah, wouldn't Rosa, you wouldn't Rosa condemn Burns. you wouldn't condemn N.W.A. And N.W.A. No, wasn't but, but, living the life no, that no, they no, portrayed. Easy, no, no, easy, no, no, easy. E, easy E was in the streets. Easy E was, you know, Shook Knight. Shook Knight was a bigger gangster than all of them, and that's why he made them look the way they look. But Easy E was in the streets. Easy E was running with them low. So, so, so they got they, you know, they got that past. What I'm saying is, you're, you're not understanding the hypocrisy that we're looking at. It's not that he's just a regular guy that's rapping about something that he never did. He was on the other side. Like, that's that's nauseating. That's, like, that's atrocious. All right, but bro. you know like, what? I, I feel what you're saying, but that cop thing has been beat to death. Why are you upset about yeah, this no, black no, no, bar no, no, mitzvah? No, 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 according to you, according to you, it's been beat to death. According to me, he'll never get a pass. Or until he start giving millions of dollars away to young African Americans and Latin Americans that's down in them streets and don't have no opportunity for education and don't have nothing, he'll never get a pass. I just you know, feel I, got, I just feel I, that there are a lot of other people. I got, partners, I got partners doing life. You know, Kenneth Supreme, M M McGriff is doing life and had Max said. You understand? I got a whole bunch of partners that got letters on their back. So, so it's different for me than it is for you. Please no. respect that. Perspective. No, I, I, I understand. I understand. The perspective that. is definitely different. For me, as a hip hop head, someone who loves the culture, I think there are a lot of people you could jump on before Ross because yeah, a, no, no matter a, what I'm you a, say, I'm gonna jump, 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 jump on a few other people. We we just getting started. You understand? I'm gonna <laughs> I mean, jump you're... on a few other people. But but the black bar misfit was just like you know, come on, like you know, he I, I feel he was trying to be slick. Now he got the star David. Where that come from? Shine is the you know what? What's my song with Pusha T called? Maya Lansky. That's that's the original Jewish monster right there. So now Shine come out with Maya Lansky. Now now Rip Ross comes out with Black Bar Mitzvah. What are you gonna do? You gonna throw side locks next? What you know what? what, what, what I that? highly doubt he'll do that. What is that? The uh, side sideburns. Oh. The, you yeah. Know. You know what I'm saying? Like what's up? What you you know you you speak up? You, you know I've been getting at you. You got something to say? Speak up. You know I'm I'm in Paris. I'm in Europe. I'm, you know, I, you know, I want to indict myself on the phone. Anyway, I'm non-violent, so never mind that. I'm retired. I, I would never put my hands on nobody. That would never happen to nobody. Because, you know, I'm coming back to America real soon, and we don't want to jeopardize that. But anyway, I just didn't feel, I didn't feel, you know, what you said. Like, like who, 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 who's the Jewish monster in, in, in hip-hop? It ain't Drake. Like, come on. You know, he's... It's he's Rosenberg. 
It's me. I, I mean, you know, well, I ain't doing enough research on you, Rosenberg, so I don't speak out of turn. So I uh, Google, damn right you don't. Google damn Rosenberg, right. Nicki Minaj. Exactly. That's all you uh, need to know. I handle these cats. No, listen, yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. I think... I think Ross is more paying tribute to what the idea of a bar mitzvah is. I don't think it's like... Nah, I, he's not doing that, Rosenberg. Come on, he's being slick. Like, how, listen, how should I come out with my landscape? Right? Right? Which is the but I think, Jewish monster. And, and where he comes from with black bar mitzvah with the star David, like, who's the most infamous... Jewish mobster besides Rosenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold Rothstein and Meyer Lansky. Uh, you know what I mean? All right, so, you know. And, but I think, and I think Ross up. is down with Drake, and he got the pass to go the bar mitzvah route. Drake can't give him no pass. Drake is from the grassy high. But like, Drake, is, but Drake, Drake is, is more. Nobody, Drake, don't nobody in Canada, don't nobody in Canada sound like Drake. But Drake, like, Drake is, is more actor. Jewish than Drake you. Drake? No, not. My mother, my mother's Jewish and my father's Jewish. I'm a levy. Watch your mouth. You understand? You're, you're, you're not no, a convert? No, I, we all I, thought you were I'm a convert. A, my, my mother, my mother, I mean, again, you know, Europeans have this ideology. I don't know if you're one of those Europeans. No. That think only white, only white people are Jewish. No, I didn't know your mother was Jewish. Come, come, come to Israel. You got Ethiopian Jews. You no, got I know, Yemenite I know Jews, that. You got I Iraqi thought. Jews, you got Syrian Jews. My mom's a Jew and my pops. Oh, no one did that. Well, your mother, your mother in Belize is Jewish. I mean, how many times I got to say that? You could fly this. We could put some money on it. You could fly to Belize and see where my grandparents is buried with Hebrew tombstones and English tombstones. So, oh, you know. I, well, I, I apologize. I thought you converted in jail. Shine ain't never lied about nothing. Well, Saif nah, apologizes. He didn't know your roots. Religious. There's a difference between being Yudi and being religious. I know a lot of, you know, Israelis and a lot of Jews that don't keep nothing. They don't want nothing to do with religion. You understand? Oh, of course. And, and, no, of know, course. I just, I just became more religious. I always knew that I was Jewish. In my family, being Jewish was just a matter of fact. Now, no, that no, but the, it, the look, though, we, way we more. Thought, we th everybody thought you converted in prison. Yeah, because that's what the European media does, because they ain't never mm. seen an African Jew. They, you know, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. You learn something new every day. It's been very, very yeah. informative. So Sean. you're more Jewish than Drake. Got it. No, nah, but listen, it's all good. It ain't even matter Jewish thing. It's just that I don't feel Black Bar Mitzvah was about Drake. That, that, you know, he's being slick. Where he comes from with that all of a sudden, after Sean dropped my Lansky, we'll push the teeth. Well, I feel bad you now because that? I gave Black Bar Mitzvah the pass, and I should have consulted with you before I went out giving out passes. You know? I mean, you know, listen, you know, it's, it's listen, here it go. It's good for our culture, you know, because people are paying homage. But I was just making a historical note that when Sean was going hard before Drake, now Drake wanted to do bar mitzvah videos, but when Sean was going hard with the Jewish thing, you know, everybody was saying, oh, Sean done lost his mind here in Israel at the wall. But now now Drake wanted to do the video with the bar mitzvah, and now Rick Ross is a black bar mitzvah. But I'm just saying. The only know, problem is, the, the only problem is, it's because when your whole Jewish thing came to be, you sounded crazy at the time. So it, the timing wasn't right. So but, people were like, you no, sounded... No, 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 you, no, but, it, no, no, hold on. Having a terrible voice, having lost your voice and sounding crazy is two different things. I was never talking crazy. No, no, no I don't mean I crazy like sounding... I, I, meant, I meant sounding yeah. bad, not sounding like a lunatic. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think I think it was just poor timing. Listen, when you're back in the country, can we link up and have you come in for a, a chat? Yeah, absolutely. But listen to that gangland. Listen to that gangland joint. All right, and, I'm and, gonna, I'm gonna know, listen talk, to it. Talk, talk about that. That's that 12th anniversary. So some, you know, 12 years I've been doing this before all these these bastard children. But listen to that gangland album, and you see where the voice is at now. Cause I did a few of them records over removed from the terrible voice. And you know, again, the last thing I want to say, I'm not gonna be selfish. You know, let all these young kids that's listening to me right now take me as an example of what will happen if you squeeze them ratchets and you dope dealing and you playing that street game. You understand? You might end up spending the rest of your life in prison. You might end up being taken away from your family and you might end up, you understand, trying to rebuild your life for the rest of your life. So don't be like me. Ain't nothing funny about the life that I live. That is right? real. That's I real. Mean, yeah. pa Paris is kind of luxurious. Paris is nice though. Listen, man, you know, I'm still, I'm like, I'm spending money from 98. 
You know, okay. keep that quiet though, because you know we don't know Rico. No, we'll no be Rico quiet. Thing going on right now. <laughs> All right, y'all guys, y'all guys be cool, man. Hold on, so, so hold Mr. Rosenberg, Rosenberg, was you in the sugar last week, man? Did you shake the little of like what? You I, know, I didn't. The, I I gotta be honest. I did no Lou Love and Etro stuff you this didn't year. Do nothing. So you know what? I'm gonna have you in mind now. Every every time I go <laughs> Listen, to the every time when, I do what I do, I'm gonna be praying for the both of us. Exactly. Now, right? So if you're if when you're in the sucker, you gotta you gotta say one for me. Yeah, I right, kid. Everybody be good, man. Hold New on, York, shine. I love you, New York. I miss you, New York. Thank you. Shine. Yo.